This identification is on Romualdo Pacheco, um, and we covered um, Pacheco uh, earlier in the semester, and some of you uh, actually did a, a large take-home uh, WAC assignment on him. Pacheco was born in 1831 and died in 1899. Um, Romano Pacheco Jr. was born uh, to a well-to-do family. Um, he actually served in uh, some military positions throughout his career. Romualdo Pacheco's father built a small fort uh, in California in 1826. Um, and so his father was a military man. This is a picture of what remains of, of that fort that his father built. Uh, Pacheco himself went into the military and eventually rose to the uh, position of uh, general. Uh, so Pacheco Jr. Um, was a very important uh, member of the U.S. Army at the time of the Civil War. Uh, he himself was uh, an abolitionist, so he was um, very much against slavery, and so he became uh, a trusted member uh, um, of, the, of the army to uh, stop the spread of slavery into California uh, as an abolitionist and as a very smart uh, military um, man. He uh, basically was in charge of defending uh, California from the South, uh, expanding into the West. Uh, and, and so we usually think of the Civil War as between North and South, between the Northern States and the Southern States. Uh, but Lincoln was very concerned that the South was going to expand into California uh, and then bring the institution of slavery to, the, to California. So Pacheco was in charge of stopping that from happening and, and did so successfully. And, and the South was unable to uh, extend military influence to California and then bring slavery into the West. Uh, and so he was successful in, in that mission. And then when the war was won, uh, Pacheco was well known in the West as an abolitionist and a slavery um, general, which uh, frequently was very would become a very successful uh, pattern of running for uh, elected office after the Civil War was over. So once the Civil War uh, ended, then Pacheco went into politics. So Pacheco Jr. was successful in, in, a, in a number of elections, and he served in many different positions. Um, he served in one as state senator. Um, he had a, a, a few very, very close elections. Um, one was contested, um, but he served ultimately in the House of Representatives, and, and so he was very involved politically. Um, but his uh, largest um, or highest political office was as governor. Um, this uh, picture is of a certificate of election in which he became, uh, I believe this is a House of Representatives um, election certificate. He eventually then ran for governor. Uh, he won uh, and became the governor of California. He became the first Hispanic governor and he took office as governor in 1875. Uh, eventually, uh, Pacheco went on to become uh, a representative uh, of the United States to uh, Central America and he worked with 
improving relations with Central America, uh, and he died and was buried in his home state um, of California.